Hello everybody, this is Maniac for Bricks, or Maniac for Bonks, we'll be talking about Bionicle quite a bit in this video. And I'm here with another LEGO haul, this time from the Bricklink store, Megan's Bricks. And uh, starting things off, this is kind of an update to one of the previous Megan's Bricks Bricklink hauls. So before I had picked up a moon base plate from them, a 32x32 32 32 crater plate, in order to use for my classic space collection. Well. I now have a second one that will also be working well into that. I never thought I'd actually own one. I've always wanted one, but now I'm <laughs> I'm happy to have two of them and I could still finagle if I needed another one or two, but this is going very well so far. So basically what I'm planning to do, one of these will be sitting on one corner like this. Another will be sitting facing the opposite direction, making a semicircle and having the spaceships planted between the two of them. So I already have it planned that the Benny spaceship, spaceship, spaceship from the Lego movie and one of the older spaceships, the space cruiser, I believe it's called the mid-sized one that's underneath the Galaxy Explorer original. And they're going to be in the same shelving area. So I just got to do a little bit more cleanup with this one just to make it look nice and it'll be good to go. I will show more about that in another video sometime later. But the main thing we have for this haul is actually to help update even further with the Bionicle mask wall. So we have a whole bunch of different Bionicle mask parts and a couple of other pieces to go along with it. As I've been updating each of the Bionicle mask wall segments, I uh, also am trying to update the framing itself, not just the collecting aspect of it. So this is the preview of one of those later videos because the rest of it will need a little more construction. So to start things out, there are a whole lot of different axle pieces, some with stoppers on them that I'm planning to use for some of the mask wall segments, basically to increase the height between the two rows. They are a little narrow right now, and as I've been putting masks in between them, I realize that it's kind of hard to fit them properly um, from one on top of the other and therefore they need a little bit more of a gap. So these will help with that because I think right now they're four length and these are five, almost six length. So that'll work out a lot better in the long run when I have more of them collected. I also have a whole bunch of these Technic ball pieces as I've been able to find them through the store and that will help with um, actually adding the heads and necks and everything like that, especially for the G2 side because that one is the reverse ball joint usage of mostly other Bionicle masks. So that'll work out very well. Um, I also have other things that in between I'm trying to update with all the Bionicle mask walls. So you may even see them adjust on the wall itself. There may be a row or two adjusted, um, which we'll have to get to at some other time. So I now have another Nuva mask, which are usually the harder ones to come by or at least a little more, um, a little tricky to come by. I remember, I think it was two years ago at Brick Fair, Virginia, to like 2021, I believe, that I had picked up a whole bunch of Nuva masks, which were relatively cheap. And even if they were less favorable colors, there were ones I didn't already have. This one, I'm surprised that I was able to find. <laughs> and funny that I keep looking at this one. This is the How Nuva in white. As I keep looking at this one, I'll have to link it down below or put an image here or something. But it reminds me of that infamous clip from, I believe, The Adventures of Mark Twain. It was some kind of animated movie where there was a character that had a mask that had this very organic look to it. Maybe I should make this mask as part of a mock and homage to that, uh, to that animated feature in that particular scene. I've done that before where a mask would inspire me to create a Bionicle mock, so... Now, I'm no stranger to that. In fact, I still got to work on a modem mock for this year. So there's more information to come for Bionicle content, of course. We'll see more about that over time. And it's usually around this time, or Brick Fair, Virginia, that I will be airing the mock anyway. So that works out nicely. Usually right before Bio. Uh, around the time of Bio Cup, or between then and... Uh, uh, what's it called? Bionicle Day. August 10th. That's it. A couple of these masks I've now acquired, and I'm actually surprised I don't have any of them on the wall right now. <laughs> like, for some reason, the light blue one is the standard. That's the, the least um, hard to find one. That's the most common one out of these colors particularly. And yet, somehow, I don't have it up there. I know I have at least two of them in my collection, uh, possibly three. 
if I have more than that, then I'm still surprised I haven't come across them yet. But I'm sure that I will, and it will get updated when it is found. I've, I've actually willingly bought a duplicate or two of them in light blue just because I knew it would go missing or other ones have gone missing in the past. So, go figure. We also have another one in dark gray for here and here. And with these, it'll actually help updating some of the entire rows. They'll go from like three masks of six up to like five masks of six. None of them have been in a fully complete row yet for the Turaga and Matoran wall yet, but it's very, very close to it, especially with the Matoran towards the bottom of it. This one is the Gavla mask, which is the Perilous version, which is held by a Matoran. I've actually updated that fairly recently. My original plans for the Metru head wall did not include 2008, or at least only included the Toa from 2008, didn't include the Makuta or the Matoran. And even as it is right now, I still haven't made room for everybody, so I'm still figuring out exactly what to do there. I do have room that I could fit this on for now, but I haven't decided yet um, how much more needs to go into that. I just know it's probably going to need another row or two at minimum for some other masks that I didn't um, consider earlier. And then last but not least, we have a visor piece and a faxon, which I know I already have to Wahali. I don't know if I have a mask separate from the figure. And the figure that I have currently does not have the mask on her. So I'm assuming that I probably only have one copy of it in dark blue. So uh, that's MIA for now. But at least I have one that I can put into the wall or put with the figure. Whatever I need. 2007 is probably the one I'm the most picky about. Because it's the one that's on display on, in the Lego room on its own shelves. So... There's not really many times where I'm going to really need to show both the Bionicle Mask Wall and the 2007 shelves at the same time or in the same frame, unless it's like a LEGO Room Tour or something. So, I have been robbing some of the figures from 2007, putting their masks on the Bionicle Mask Wall, and showing that more complete. But, if time comes where I can get duplicates of some of those masks then I will, and then I could always have the 2007 side just fully, you know, kept together without having to move anything or, or put it onto the wall. But for now, I'm okay with them being moved, and this is a case where I just didn't know where this was, and I just, since I already looked through the Bricklane store, I'm like, yeah, okay, I can add that right in. <laughs> It'll be easy peasy. So, um, I'm good with that. So, I will see you pretty soon when the Bionicle Mask Wall update comes out. That will include these masks and a couple more revisions. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time with more LEGO videos. Thank you again to Megan's Bricks on Bricklink for their help and with all these Bionicle parts available.